My name is Matt Schluter, lead engineer here at Boss Snowplow for the VBX Plus. Today, we'll walk you through the smart features of the VBX Plus and its easy to follow calibration process. The VBX Plus marks a new era in spreader technology, offering contractors a streamlined experience in control and efficiency. Standard features like rate control, material tracking, and enhanced power optimize material distribution and minimize downtime. First, let's explore the VBX Plus controller, which comes equipped with rate control straight from the factory. This allows you to better determine the correct application rate for your jobs and will aid in customer billing and material supply planning. On the main screen, you can see the active material and job in the center of the screen. While you're not running, the bottom center button will cycle through different active jobs. Upon activation, you can see two changes in the screen. The bottom center button will become a blast, momentarily giving full power to the feeder and spinner motors, and the top right corner starts counting the number of pounds spread on the active job. This provides you with a live view of the active job counter. If you stop and then restart the spreader, this counter will pick up where it left off. If there is no job active, this counter will show the lifetime material counter instead of a job counter. Now let's dive deeper into the settings menu for the VBX controller and dial in your rate control performance. You'll notice the feed and spin modes are already set to rate control. If you prefer a zero through 10 setting menu, but still want to count material, we have you covered with the standard control mode, which will still allow material and job counting. Going back into the spreader menu, the open control mode takes the sensors out of the equation, meaning the use of material and job counters is not possible. This is only recommended in the unlikely event that a sensor has an issue and you need to finish the job in an emergency. When you go to the materials page, you'll see a list of available materials, their lifetime usage, and the ability to select them. We've named some common materials like salt, sand, and gravel, and left some with more generic names for more adjustability. In the job setting menu, you can see the list of available jobs, their material usage, and activate them from this menu. Additionally, you can reset any job back to zero to maximize your job tracking flexibility. In the calibrate settings menu, you'll again see the list of available materials. However, on the right side of the screen, you'll now see an adjustment factor. This will either speed up or slow down the motors of the spreader to match what is actually coming out to give you the most accurate data possible. The best way to know which adjustment factor to use is to calibrate your spreader with the material that you're selecting. Now that we reviewed the VBX Plus controller and you know how to use it, let's walk through how to accurately and effectively calibrate your spreader. First, remove the spinner assembly. Then prepare a bucket or container and a scale to measure the weight of the material. Next, select the material in the controller that most closely resembles the material that you will be spreading. Also in the controller, select a job that's at zero or simply reset one of your job counters. Position your bucket or container below the spreader discharge area and ensure no bystanders are in range. Set the feeder flow rate to a mid-range value, 100 pounds per minute is recommended and turn the spreader on for at least 30 seconds. The longer the spreader can run, the more accurate the calibration will be. However, don't let it run so long that the container overflows or becomes too heavy to lift. Then weigh your container, accounting for the empty weight of that container. Compare the amount of material measured on your scale to the amount shown on the job counter of the VBX Plus controller. Finally, go to the calibration settings screen in your controller and adjust the value as follows. If your measured material was less than your job counter, increase your adjustment factor. If your measured material was more than your job counter, then decrease your adjustment factor. 
For more details on the calibration specifics, refer to your manual or bossplow.com. The VBX Plus controller allows you to calibrate and save your standard and specialized materials as separate options, allowing you to easily switch between them based on your specific job requirements. Now that you've successfully set up and calibrated your VBX Plus, you're equipped to tackle any spreading task with precision and efficiency. Visit bossplow.com to explore the all-new VBX Plus and compare offerings from our list of de-icing solutions.